and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. In the spotlight tonight are Danielle King, a prevent coordinator whose specialist subject is the Russian Revolution, Mark Robotham, a product manager who will be answering questions on King Crimson, Navina Senthil Kumar, a student whose subject is the Hunger Games, and Andy Cook, a postgraduate researcher in history, specialist subject, the essays and journalism of George Orwell. <laughs> Tonight, as ever, four people who are reasonably confident that they know what they need to know for the two minutes of questions on their specialist subjects, but it is rather different when the two and a half minutes of general knowledge comes around because they have no idea what I shall be asking. Whoever comes out on top tonight will win a place in the semi-finals and a crack at becoming the mastermind champion. So let's get on with it with so much at stake and ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name is? Danielle King. Your occupation? Prevent coordinator. And your chosen subject? The Russian Revolution. A rise to power of the Bolsheviks under Lenin. <laughs> Starting now, two minutes. Tsar Nicholas II abdicated in March 1917 after a series of protests and mutinies. A provisional government was formed and headed by the leader of the moderate Zemstvo movement. What was his name? Prince Lvov. Yes. The document entitled The Tasks of the Proletariat in the Present Revolution was a set of directives written by Lenin for the Bolshevik Party. It's more commonly known by what name? The April Theses. Yep. In August 1917, General Kornilov tried to overthrow the provisional government of Alexander Kerensky. Kornilov sent troops to Petrograd under the command of which officer? General Krymov. Yes. In response to Kornilov's attempted coup, Bolshevik-led volunteers' armed units were formed in Petrograd that were known as workers' militias. And by what other common name? Um... Pass. In September 1917, Lenin told the Bolshevik party to prepare for an insurrection. Fellow Bolshevik Lev Kamenev, aided by Grigory Zinoviev, published an open letter that opposed a coup in a newspaper edited by Maxim Gorky. What newspaper? Ishtia. No, Novaya Zizhon. The revolution began on October the 24th, when revolutionary forces seized some key locations in Petrograd. The following evening, a blank shot from the cruiser Aurora was the signal to storm the palace which housed the provisional government. Which palace? The Winter Palace. Yep. When a large group of Menshevik and Socialist Revolutionary Party delegates walked out of the Congress of Soviets in protest at the coup, Leon Trotsky declared, you are bankrupts, your role is played out, go where you belong from now on. Where in history did he say they should go? He said they'd be consigned to the dustbin of history. He did indeed. On October 26th, the Congress of the Soviets announced that the provisional government had been replaced by the Council of People's Commissars, chaired by Lenin, which Bolshevik was appointed the Commissar of the Interior. Um... Trotsky. No, it was Rikov. You had just uh, one pass, Danielle. The workers' militias, the Red Guards. <gasps> there you go, it's the chair. Um, you have scored five points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Mark Robotham. Your occupation? I'm a product manager. And your chosen subject? King Crimson. A British prog rock group formed in the late 60s. Here we go. On July the 5th, 1969, just a few months after they were formed, King Crimson played a breakthrough gig to an estimated crowd of more than half a million people in Hyde Park. They were a support act for which headlining group? The Rolling Stones. Yep. Which singer and bass player joined the group in 1970? He'd previously been a classmate of the band's guitarist, Robert Fripp, at Queen Elizabeth's Grammar School in Wimborne. Gordon Haskell. Correct. Just before Ian MacDonald and Michael Giles left the band, the original lineup of King Crimson played their final concert together in December 1969 at a venue in San Francisco. It was recorded and later appeared on the collection Epitaph. Which venue? The Fillmore West. Yep. In the lyrics of the song, The Court of the Crimson King, the purple piper plays his tune, the black queen chants the funeral march, the pattern juggler lifts his hand, and the yellow jester does not play but gently pulls the... 
strings. Yes. King Crimson's first managers were two business partners, together known as EG Management. The E in that name referred to David Enthoven, whose name was represented by the G. John Gayden. Yep. The cover of the box set Radical Action to Unseat the Hold of Monkey Mind, released in 2016, depicts a cyclops and was the work of an artist married to the band's drummer, Bill Rieflin. What was her name? P.J. Crook. Francesca Sunsten. In 1974, Robert Fripp temporarily withdrew from the music business. It was announced that King Crimson had ceased to exist. His retreat was partly to allow him to study the works of an English writer who was a follower of the mystic George Gurdjieff. What was the name of this writer who J died that same year? J.G. Bennett. Correct. The title of a song from the band's so-called double trio era, after they reformed again in 94, is a word defined by Robert Fripp as an inevitable and remorseless forward motion which carries all before it. What word? Vroom. Yes, in 1981, when Robert Fripp reformed King Crimson with Bill Bruford, after several years' hiatus, they initially performed under a different name, which later became the title of their first album that year. What name? Discipline. Yep. Long before he joined King Crimson as a guitarist and singer, Jacko Jackschick had seen the band live as a 13-year-old fan in July 1971. That gig was at the town hall of which English town? Watford. Is correct. You had no passes, Mark. You've scored nine points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Navina Santal Kumar. Your occupation? Student. And your chosen subject? The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games, the three books, four films set in a world where children compete in deadly battles to win food for their families. Here we go, two minutes. Competitors in the annual Hunger Games in Panem are chosen from each of the country's districts in a reaping ceremony. Katniss Everdeen volunteers at the reaping in place of her sister to fight for which district? Twelve. Yep. The young competitors, known as tributes, must fight to the death in an arena to win food for their district. In the first book, two of the strongest tributes are from District 2. They're a boy called Cato and a girl called... Clove. Yep. In Catching Fire for the 75th Hunger Games, known as a quarter quell, the tributes are chosen from previous winners of the games. Who is picked to be the male tribute for District 12 before Peter Mellock volunteers in his place? Hamish. Hey, Yep. In Mockingjay Part 1, Katniss sings the song entitled The Hanging Tree, the lyrics of which were written by the author of the books, Suzanne Collins. Which American folk band wrote the music? They also wrote Gale's song for the Catching Fire soundtrack. Pass. When tributes enter a games arena, they can try to gather weapons and equipment for survival. These are placed in and around a giant horn shaped like a cone with a curved tail. What's it called? Cornucopia. Yep. For the film Catching Fire, the costume designer, Trish Somerville, dressed the character of Effie Trinket in outfits designed by Sarah Burton from which fashion label? Um, Donna Karen, New York. Alexander McQueen. In Mockingjay, Katniss joins the rebel soldiers whose aim is to overthrow the capital. The commander of her squad has a digital map called a holo that identifies the location of booby traps in their path. What are these traps called? Pods. Yep. In The Hunger Games, Katniss cuts a wasp's nest out of a tree which lands on a group of tributes sleeping below. The wasps kill Glimmer from District 1 and Katniss escapes. What's the name of this genetically engineered wasp species? Tracker Jacker. Yep. In Catching Fire, before the quarter quell parade of tributes, Katniss asks Finnick O'Dare from District 4, how do people pay for the pleasure of your company? What's his reply? Secrets. Yes. In Mockingjay Part 1, Katniss revisits her house in the Victor's Village after most of District 12 has been destroyed, where she finds a flower that President Snow has given her before she and Peter went on the victory tour. What kind of flower? A white rose. Is correct. You had uh, one pass. Uh, those people who wrote the Gale song and the Hanging Tree, etc., they were the Lumineers. Yep. You have scored, Navina, eight points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Andy Cook. Your occupation? Postgraduate researcher in history. And your chosen subject? 
the essays and journalism of George Orwell. The great George Orwell. Here we go. Which of Orwell's essays, subtitled Socialism and the English Genius, was written in 1941 during the Blitz and begins, as I write, civilised human beings are flying overhead trying to kill me. The Lion and the Unicorn. Yep. In my country, right or left, Orwell admits that nothing that had happened in the whole of the First World War had moved him so deeply as an event that occurred a few years earlier. What event? Sinking of the Titanic. Yep. Which of Orwell's essays includes his poem that begins, A happy vicar I might have been 200 years ago to preach upon eternal doom and watch my walnuts grow? Pass. In Why I Write, Orwell describes one of his books as the first in which he tried to fuse political purpose and artistic purpose into one whole. Which book? Coming up for air. Animal Farm. In a book review of 1940, Orwell describes a photograph of a pathetic dog-like face, the face of a man suffering under intolerable wrongs. Whose face was it? Mussolini. Hitler. In the essay Looking Back on the Spanish War, Orwell writes that in the whole of Greek and Roman history, Spartacus was one of only two slaves whose name he definitely knew. Who was the other? Pass. In a 1945 essay on the topic, what term borrowed from G.K. Chesterton is used by Orwell for the kind of book that has no literary pretensions but which remains readable when more serious productions have perished? Good, bad book. Yes. In his article In Defence of English Cooking, Orwell declares that Stilton is the best cheese of its type in the world. Which other cheese does he say is not far behind? Cheddar. Wensleydale, which Russian football team's tour of Britain in 1945 prompted Orwell to write that sport is an unfailing cause of ill will. He summarised it as war minus the shooting. Moscow Dynamos. Yes. Which novel by J.B. Priestley is summed up by Orwell in a 1930 book review as an excellent holiday novel, genuinely gay and pleasant, which supplies a good bulk of reading matter for ten and sixpence? Pass. In his essay, In Defence of P.G. Woodhouse, Orwell describes one of Woodhouse's characters as an ass, but adds that he's also honest, kind-hearted, athletic and courageous. What's his name? Worcester. No, uh, you think so, wouldn't you? Archie Moffan. Oh. It is, and you had um, three passes. Angel Pavement was that novel. That Orwell essay that includes the poem is Why I Write. And in the essay looking back on the Spanish War, the other slave name he remembered was Epictetus. Yeah. And you remember it now, of I course. Do. The way of the game, I'm afraid. Uh, Andy, you have four points. And that's the end of the specialist subjects round. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, with four points, Andy. Third place, five points, Danielle. Second place, eight points, Navina. First place, nine points, Mark. So, now, it is the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So, let's ask Andy to join us again please. And four points on the board at the moment, Andy. Loads of time to make up ground with your two and a half minutes of general knowledge starting now. In the English university degree titles BA and MA, what word does the letter A stand for? Arts. Yep. Which cartoon cat who first appeared in 1978 is known for his love of lasagna and hatred of Mondays? Film adaptations were released in 2004 and 2006. Garfield. Yep. What name's given to the starched, frilly, detachable collar worn around the neck by both men and women in Elizabethan times? It's also the word for a coloured ring of feathers around the neck of certain birds. Roof. Yep. The person who leads prayers in a mosque is known by a name derived from an Arabic word for leader. What name? Imam. Yep. Which French painter is portrayed by José Perret in the 1952 film Moulin Rouge and by John Leguizamo in the 2001 film of the same title? Delacroix. Toulouse-Lautrec. In the classic version of the board game Cluedo, the character represented by the red playing piece is Miss Who? Pass. An 80th birthday portrait of the British Prime Minister painted by Graham Sutherland in 1954 was so disliked by subject who claimed that it made him look half-witted that it was later destroyed reputedly by his wife. Which Prime Minister? Winston Churchill. Yes. What bacterial disease of sheep and cattle was once known as wool sorters disease because it could be spread to humans through contact with infected animal hides? 
Grapey? Anthrax. The duo who were presented with the Grammy for Best New Artist in 1990 were subsequently stripped of the award after it was revealed that they didn't sing on the recordings. At the time of the award, they performed under what name? Millie Vanilli? Yep. A play by Eugene O'Neill, first performed in 1956, depicts a single day in the life of the dysfunctional Tyrone family. What's the title of the play? Pass. Which town near Telford in Shropshire is named after the historic structure built by Abraham Darby at his nearby foundry at Colebrookdale? Ironbridge. Yes. Since 1987, a prestigious award has been given by the Foundation for Environmental Education to beaches and marinas around the world which meet certain standards of cleanliness, safety and accessibility. The award is named after what colour flag? Blue. Yep. In French cuisine, a dish described as parmentier is made with or accompanied by which vegetable? Potatoes? Yep. In Doctor Who, a race of alien creatures who originate from the planet Scaro and are so mutated that they're housed in mechanical travel machines first appeared on the show in 1963. What are they called? Daleks. Yep. Which metallic element was named after the Greek goddess of the rainbow because of the various colours of its compounds? Pat. Which real-life American mathematician who was portrayed in the 2016 film Hidden Figures was one of the first women to work for NASA's Mercury program of manned space flights. At the age of 97 in 2015, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Hodgkin. Johnson. Katherine Johnson. You had three passes, Andy. That metallic element, named after the Greek goddess of the rainbow, is Iridium. Eugene O'Neill's play was Long Day's Journey Into it's Night. night. <laughs> and uh, the red playing piece in Cluedo is Miss Scarlet. You have a leapt to 14 points. <laughs> And next up, Danielle again, please. And you start out with five, Danielle. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two and a half minutes starting now. The leek is a national emblem of one of the home nations of the UK. Which one? Wales. Yep. Yokozuna is the highest rank in what Japanese sport? Sumo. Yep. In a hotel or at a social occasion, a spread of food laid out on a long table to allow guests to serve themselves is referred to by a word of French origin. What word? Buffet. Yep. In the 1980s, the actress Rhea Pullman won four Emmy Awards for her role as Carla, the waitress in a Boston bar run by a former baseball player called Sam Malone. In which sitcom? Cheers. Yep. The dish known in Spanish as bacalao is made with what fish, dried and salted? Herring. Cod. At the Super Bowl 2020 halftime show in Miami, Jennifer Lopez performed alongside a Latin American singer whose UK hit singles include She Wolf and Waka Waka. What's her name? Shakira. Yep. MSF is a Nobel Prize winning international relief organisation founded in 1971 by a group of French doctors and journalists in the wake of the Biafran conflict. The initials MSF stand for what French name? Uh, Medicine Sans Frontières. Correct. Who won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance in the 2018 film If Bill Street Could Talk? She has since starred in the television series Watchmen as a police officer turned vigilante, who is sometimes known as Sister Knight. Jennifer Garner. No, Regina King. Which planet in our solar system takes 243 Earth days to turn once on its axis and does so in the opposite direction to most other planets? Jupiter. Venus. Wasserstoff, which translates as water substance, is the German name for which chemical element? Carbon dioxide. Hydrogen. What were the stage names of the female impersonators George Logan and Patrick Fife, who had their own radio programme from the late 1970s until 1990? Hinge and Racket. Yes. In the 1690s, the settlement in Massachusetts gained notoriety as the scene of a series of witch trials in which 19 people were condemned and executed. What's the name of the settlement? Salem. Yeah. Which clergyman was installed as Archbishop of Canterbury in 2013? He succeeded Rowan Williams in the role. Dean? No, nope, Justin Welby. What occupation is the title of a musical that opened in London's West End in 2019 with Catherine McPhee in the lead role of Jenna? McPhee had previously starred in the show's Broadway production. A uh, hairdresser. Waitress. In England, the Duchy of Cornwall provides an income for the eldest son of the reigning monarch, while the monarch is entitled to the income generated by another duchy. What's the name of this other royal duchy? Uh. Devonshire. Lancaster. 
No passes, Daniel. You have now gone up to 13. And now, Navina again, please. And you start out with eight. So, let's see how you do. 14 is the score to beat at the moment. Here we go. The word abs is an informal abbreviation for which group of muscles? Abdominal. Yep. Which financial institution in the City of London has traditionally been referred to as the Old Lady of Threadneedle Street? Bank of England. Yep. A comedian who died in 2002 at the age of 83 has an inscription on his headstones in Irish Gaelic that translates as, I told you I was ill. Which comedian? Um, pass. The Peloponnesian War was fought in the 5th century BC between an alliance led by Athens and one led by which other Greek city-state? Sparta. Yep. A fictional Scottish village which comes to life for one day every hundred years is the subject of a 1947 musical by Lerner and Lowe. What's the name of the village? Um, pass. What's the title of the American sitcom about the property-developing Bluth family who are forced to live together in one of their show homes after one of them is convicted of fraud? It began in 2003 and stars Jason Bateman, Jessica Walter and Liza Minnelli. Arrested Development. Yeah. The artwork entitled Wheatfield with Crows was painted in 1890 by a Dutch artist who died later that year. Which artist? Rembrandt. Van Gogh. A 19th century American folk ballad about a miner's daughter has a chorus that begins, Oh, my darling, oh, my darling. What is the name of the daughter? Um, Sophia. Clementine. A protein produced by boiling collagen obtained from animal skin and bones with water is used as a food additive and in cosmetics. What protein? Collagen. Gelatin. The solicitor and long-serving MP who was deputy leader of the Labour Party from 2007 to 2015 with two spells as interim leader was first elected to Westminster in 1982 when she was seven months pregnant. What's her name? Harriet Harman. Yep. William III established a route through London's Hyde Park in 1690 and had 300 lamps placed along its length to make it safe for travellers at night. What's the name of this route? Royal Mile. Rotten Row. The household appliance launched in the 1970s to tape and play back television programmes was known as a VCR. In what do the letters VCR stand for? Um... Video control remote. Video cassette recorder. In 1923, a co-founder of Dublin's Abbey Theatre became the first Irishman to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. What was his name? Keats. Yates. Which American volcano in Washington state erupted on May the 18th, 1980, with such explosive force that its height fell by more than 1,300 feet? Pass. What Latin term, which translates as to a sickening degree, is used to refer to something that happens or is repeated so often it becomes tiresome? Ad nauseum. Ad nauseum is correct. You had uh, three passes. Mount St. Helens was that... Um, Volcano that erupted with such massive force. Brigadoon is the fictional Scottish village that comes to life one day every hundred years. And Spike Mulligan had that wonderful inscription, I told you I was ill. You have now, Navina, a total of 14 points. <laughs> and finally, Mark again, please. And, Mark, you start out with nine points. The score to beat, if you are to get into the semi-finals, is 14. So, here we go with your general knowledge. The large sea which separates Europe and Africa has a name derived from Latin words for middle and land. Which sea? Mediterranean. Yep. Lime Street Station, built in 1836, is a railway terminus in a city in northwest England. Which city? Liverpool. Yep. Which stage musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice features the song Don't Cry For Me, Argentina? Evita. Yep. Historically, people who were persuaded to accept financial incentives to enlist in the British Army or Royal Navy were said to have taken the King's... Shilling. Yep. The final English classic of the horse racing season on the flat is run in September and is also the longest of the five races at more than one and three quarter miles. What's the name of it? The St Ledger. Yep. Which private royal estate was bought by Prince Albert in 1852 for about £32,000 from the trustees of the second Earl of Fife? Balmoral? Yeah. The 2016 book Holding is the debut novel of a well-known broadcaster and chat show host. His second novel, A Keeper, appeared two years later. Who is he? Ricky Gervais. Graham Norton. What word, which means at the same time, is used in algebra to describe equations with two or more unknown quantities? Pass. 
which American music producer and composer produced Michael Jackson's albums Off the Wall, Bad and Thriller? Quincy Jones. Yep, the formula used to calculate the UK government grant to be spent by the devolved administrations in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland is named after the Treasury Secretary who devised it in the 1970s. What was his surname? Pass. What common term is used by insurance companies to refer to an unforeseeable natural event such as a flood or an earthquake? The term suggests divine intervention. An act of God. Yep. In Celtic mythology, what's the name of the hero said to have gained extraordinary abilities from the salmon of knowledge? Pass. A patriotic anthem traditionally sung at the last night of the proms includes the line, God who made thee mighty, make thee mightier yet. What is its title? Land of hope and glory. Yes. What Japanese dish of thinly sliced raw fish has a name that comes from the words for to pierce and flesh? Pass. What four-letter adjective popularised through its association with the African-American civil rights movement has come to mean to be alert to racial or social discrimination and injustice? Woke. Yep. Which film and stage performer was billed as the Brazilian bombshell because of her flamboyant personality and colourful costume? She made a Hollywood debut in 1940 in the film Down Argentine Away with Betty Grable. <sighs> Tom Miranda. Yes, which Australian-born DJ often introduced his BBC radio show Pick of the Pops with the phrase, Greetings, Pop Pickers. Alan Freeman. Is correct. You have four passes. That Japanese dish, sashimi. Finn McCool was uh, supposed to be the hero who gained his knowledge from the salmon of knowledge. Barnett is the formula. It was Lord Barnett who came up with the formula. And uh, that word meaning at the same time, used in algebra, etc. Simultaneous, yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, doesn't matter, because you have now a total of 21 points. A clear winner, so let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place, with 13 points, Danielle. In joint second place, 14 points apiece, Navina and Andy. First place, 21 points, Mark, which means Mark goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind. And you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I chose King Crimson as a specialist subject. Um, I've loved the band since I was back in my early teens. I used to play the drums myself for a couple of progressive rock bands, and there's no doubt that the band was a very big influence on my playing and, and the kind of music we produced. I scored 21 points. I was pretty happy with that. Disappointed with the King Crimson one I got wrong. A couple of things I really should have got on the general knowledge side of things, but yeah, pretty pleased. Lots of work to do for the semi-final, lots of work to do on my second specialist subject, but I'm really looking forward to the challenge.